Today we are going to discuss the detailed process of installing CCM in various solar fencing setups. This includes professionally installed setups using hot dip galvanized poles and even setups that are DIY with wooden poles or cement poles. This is not an installation guide for fencing. For that you can go in the description and watch those videos. This is a detailed guide about the machine. So the first step is unboxing the CCM. Make sure to shoot this process using a phone like I am doing now. First grab the packing list that comes with the box and check each atom. We want to make sure that every atom makes the journey. Now as we are checking every atom, we want to check for damages. Minor scups are okay, but if something is seriously damaged, don't worry about it. All our support team, we will figure it out in no time. With everything accounted for, we are ready for the next step. Now it is time to check our CCM unit. So before installing the CCM machine in the field, it is better to check whether the CCM is in optimal working condition or not. Here is how you can perform the pre-installation checkups. So this box contains four atoms, four warning sign boards, a battery cable, a siren, and most importantly, the CCM machine. So now carefully remove the plastic wrapping on the CCM machine and place it on a stool. A wooden stool or a plastic stool works best for this. Now open the solar panel box and place the solar panel in a direct sunlight and connect the wire to the solar input of the CCM machine. As soon as you connect the solar panel, the green light on the machine should turn on. This indicates that the solar panel is charging the machine. Connect the battery securely to the CCM machine with the provided battery cable. The battery terminals are designed for easy connection. Now turn on the main power switch and listen for a distinct tick tick sound. This is how you confirm that the machine is operational. Also the red light will start to pulse. This is another indicator. Now use the large screwdriver or an insulated piece of wire to short the terminals at the back like shown in the video, observe the sparks from around half an inch of distance confirming that the machine is working fine. Now that we have checked the CCM unit and it is working properly, the next step is installing the solar panel correctly. Select the location for solar panel installation such that it receives ample sunlight throughout the day. Ideally in India, the solar panel should be tilted 10 degrees to the south so that it receives maximum sunlight. Whether you choose to mount it on a pole stand or on your roof, make sure that the nearby structures are not casting any shadow on the solar panel. If you are opting for a pole mounted installation, consider making a sturdy stand or purchase one from us directly. Also, if you want, we can provide you the dimensions and pole fabrications design so that you can fabricate it easily anywhere. Periodically, check the solar panel for any dust or debris or bird droppings that might obstruct the sunlight. Keeping the solar panel clean is the first step in extending the lifespan of the solar panel and CCM unit as a whole. Before placing the CCM machine in the field, consider getting an enclosure that can house the CCM machine and the battery together. For your convenience, we do provide enclosure boxes, but if you want, you can fabricate it at your local fabric we can provide the designs for that. This enclosure is going to shield your battery and machine from potential environmental damage and also any other damages. Like shown in the video, place the CCM machine so that the terminals of the machine are facing downwards so that the terminals are accessible to connect. Once the CCM machine is placed inside, it is time to place the battery and connect it to the machine using the battery port. If your solar panel is placed directly above the machine, it is time to connect the wire of the solar panel to the machine as well. Again, confirm that the green light illuminates. Verify that all the components are securely connected and securely placed inside the container and even outside. The solar panel is going to be outside. This enclosure is designed in such a way that you can lock the system when you are not in the field so that you can stop it from getting stolen as well. For connecting the CCM system to your fence, we recommend using a double insulated cable, also known as DI cable. This type of cable ensures a perfect and reliable connection from the machine to the fence. However, if the distance is short and you are looking for a budgeted option, then using a PVC coated copper cable can also work. Begin by connecting the phase layers of the fence to the phase terminal of the machine using the DI cable. This will ensure that the high voltage pulsing current flows uniformly through the fence. Similarly, connect the earthing layers to the earthing terminal using the same DI cable. The next step now is proper earthing. For this, you will need a 4 to 5 feet deep hole like shown in the video. For this, you can use earth auger if you want to expedite the process, make it faster and also make it precise. Once the hole is ready, insert the copper earthing rod into the ground. To enhance the conductivity of the copper rod, you will need to fill the hole with a specialized earthing powder, earthing mixture. This powder is responsible for connecting the copper earthing rod with the surrounding soil. Now, this copper earthing rod should be connected to the green earthing terminal of the system using a DI cable. Now, proper earthing ensures that our system is properly grounded. This is very important. Now, to maintain a stable electric balance, it is very important to water this regularly. While the CCM unit is designed to be outside, it is very important to take care of only one thing that it should not come in contact with any water. So in rainy season or if you have regular floods, make sure to wrap it in a plastic or keep it in a container like we have shown before. 
if it is possible for you and if you have a farmhouse then you can keep the ccm unit inside that farmhouse so it is sheltered from the outside elements regularly inspect and manage weed around the fence as it is one of the biggest enemies of any solar fencing setup weeds around the fence or live grass can reduce a lot of current inside the fence you can use weed removal sprays but if you are into organic farming then you can also use hand tools that are designed to remove weeds like shown in the video these hand tools are also available to purchase on kushi store schedule periodic visits to all of the fence locations this includes checking the solar panel checking the connections to the machine checking that the machine is working fine and checking the fence as well regular maintenance contributes to the longevity of the system while this guide covers everything and you can install ccm unit using this guide into your farm but if you want you can hire a professional installation team will ensure that your installation goes seamless and fast now using this guide you have successfully set up the ccm unit inside your farm kushi store offers all of the products mentioned in this video you can generate a quotation by going through our website and the installation will be included in all of those quotations and don't forget to subscribe channel for more interesting videos like this